Good morning, everyone. Well, yesterday was a huge moment in a really long and painful journey that Kathleen's been on for 24 years with Trace um, and Robert behind me, who started this 10 years ago with other colleagues. The state has done the unimaginable to Kathleen Folbig. They have put her in prison when she lost her four children. This is a tragic story, but Kathleen is an example of a broader problem in the system. And if Australia really wants to make some good from a tragic story, they will seriously consider reviewing their system of post-conviction review. The same system that took too long, too long to get to today. Ms Folbig is grateful. She has no hatred. She is grateful that she is released today. And we urge everyone to give her privacy while she enjoys the first bit of freedom. Um, and also uh, she will just be honouring the memory of her children every day as she's done for 24 years. Thank you. Any questions? Well, um, last night, as Trace just said, was pizza and um, some talking, which was nice. Um, so the legal team, Dr Robert Kavanagh, Dr Greg Woods and I, will be talking to Kath about next steps, but it's a bit too early to be talking about um, anything else other than we're going to have her convictions quashed in the Court of Criminal Appeal. But we still need to wait for Mr Bath's full report. If it So uh, Mr Bathurst has really only one power at law and that is that he can refer the matter directly to the Court of Criminal Appeal. We have asked him to do so and uh, we very much hope that he will make that referral when his report is provided. Uh, if Mr Bathurst does not refer it, we will be asking the Governor to refer it because she has that power. Failing that, we will be making an application to the Court of Criminal Appeal. Now, in terms of compensation, which I know is on everyone's minds, um, it's too early right now. Um, Kathleen is still having a cup of tea, acquainting herself to normal life, and we're just getting used to not speaking to her in a prison <laughs> and over an AVL call. I just was on the phone to her, I said, it sounds very different um, from speaking to you over an AVL call. So we're just taking it one step at a time. But in due course, we'll be certainly thinking about all options available to her. Well, I'd throw that to Mr Daly. He um, can certainly think about that um, as the Attorney General. Uh, as Mr Daly said yesterday in his release, that um, Ms Folbig has two options essentially to her, uh, that she can pursue civil action against the state or an extra for payment. Um, as I said, we haven't spoken to Ms Folbig about this. She's very much trying to focus on taking one step in front of the other um, and not rush into things because she has just been waiting to feel the grass on her feet, look at the sky and watch the sunrise for the first time in 20 years. And we won't be rushing her and pushing her to do anything she does not want to do until she's ready.